Okay, we're gonna do a quick cycle time study on this thing. We're pretending that up half inch is a good height for your primary. That can be adjusted up or down depending on how the tool's behaving. If the edge is weak, you'd flatten it out a little bit more. In other words, lower that a little bit. So we're gonna do 0.5 and 1.5 for the height settings, primary and secondary. Load the tool, you want to bring the collet up so that it starts to get tight. And then you use the tool setter. Set the height, tighten the collet. across to the primary the um, tool spindle is set to zero and the thumb screw and check the flatness with a square in the end if you find you're having trouble in this way but generally uh, the existing setting is going to be pretty close to zero Take a little bit more. One nice finish. Speed the wheel up, go a little slower. Now we're going to go up to the secondary. Up to 1.5. We found that was a pretty good angle to, to match the existing angle, so. Once again, you can make some judgment calls there. As long as you took some material off the end and you cleaned up your secondary, you're probably sharp enough to go at it again. Use your tool. If you find that you're not getting enough tool life, then go a little bit deeper into, into good material. So, let's load another tool. So again, put the tool in the collet. Bring the collet up till it's just starting to become tight on the tool so that the tool is centered in the collet. And then put your height setter there and tighten it up. Doesn't matter what sequence, you do the primary and secondary just so that you get the primary width that you want on the end. Which Go down and get the primary. Down to point five. so that the tool is centered in the collet. Put the height setter in place. Tighten it up. We're set, set at the primary height, so we're gonna do that first. So 
one red finish, go slow and spin the wheel fast. Now we're going to go up to a single facet secondary grind. I'm at too much sharp.